Now we come to example 4. In the figure, prove that triangle ADB, this smaller triangle, is similar to triangle BCD. As we can observe from the diagram, all the sides of the triangles are given and not even one angle is given in the figure. Therefore, most probably we have to make use of the corresponding size of coin grand tri uh, sorry, similar triangles in order to prove part A. And now we can just draw another blue triangle on top of triangle ABD with all the size labeled. And we can just move and rotate the triangle to see if the sides are directly proportional to each other. 4 and 12, 4 to 12, 6 to 8, and 8 to 16. Uh, of course, we can see that the ratios are not quite in the appropriate order. Then we have to flip. Uh, again, we can flip this triangle to become another triangle like this one. Actually, these two triangles are the mirror image of each other. And again, if we compare this small blue triangle with the red bigger one, we can just cross out this one. Four, oh, sorry, six to twelve, four to eight, and eight to sixteen. They are all in the same proportion. Therefore, we can conclude that these two triangles are similar. So this will be angle D, this will be angle A, and this one, angle B. And we can write down for part A in triangle ADB and triangle BCD. And then we have to write down the ratio of the corresponding size of the two triangles first and see if they are equal to each other. Therefore, we can write down a, B over D, B. We have 4 over X, that is 1 over 2. And then B, D over D, C. A over 16, again okay, 1 over 2. Finally, A, D over B, C. We have 6 over 12. Again, we have 1 over, th over 2. And therefore, we can conclude that all the ratios of size are equal. Therefore, triangle ATB is similar to BCD. And the reason is free size proportional.